Makers, welcome back. We're going to be doing a spring mason jar tutorial today. You want to make sure you have some multi-surface paint. Choose any colors that you wish. Also some 70% alcohol to wash your brushes in. I'm only going to be using one small pointy brush for this entire project and this is my palette. So the first thing we want to do is mix up our grass color. So I'm mixing together some green, yellow, and white paint together. From there, we're going to be creating the stems for all of our flowers, starting at the top using very light pressure. And as we move to the bottom of the mason jar, we press down harder to create a thicker line at the bottom. Each flower is going to get one stem and two leaves on the sides. After we get in the stems, we're going to add some smaller blades of grass down along the bottom edge. You can start at the top and work your way down, or you can start at the bottom of your mason jar and simply flick up a whole bunch. Next, I'm going to be mixing up a slightly darker green with more green and a very small touch of black paint to create this more foresty green shade. We're going to be taking this and drawing a line down the center of our stems and just the leaves that are going on the flowers. Next, with a clean brush, we're going to get into some white paint to draw out the basic shapes for all of our flowers. These ones are like tulip shapes. Um, I think of them as like an almond shape, maybe a football shape or an eyeball shape. Three of those that come together where the stem is and they fan out at the top. Now this flower is the basic shape for most flowers where you have a bunch of petals that collect into the center. So I'm just going to use a heavy pressure on the end of each petal and then flick it in towards the center. I have five petals for that one. This last flower is going to be a rose. For me it kind of almost looks like if a cup had a point at the bottom instead of it being round at the bottom. Now once those dry, you can think about the colors for your flowers. I'm mixing up some pink with some red and white paint. Then I'm going to be taking this and filling in one of my tulips. With some red paint, I'm going to be adding some shadowing down towards the bottom of each of those petals. Then I'm going to highlight the tips of each petal with some white paint, simply just flicking down from the top corners. My next flower is going to be yellow, just using straight yellow paint and flicking up from the bottom. Then I'm going to be mixing up an orange with some yellow paint and a tiny touch of red. I'm going to be using this as the shadow color for my yellow flower. My next flower, I want a pretty purple. So to my pink mixture, I'm going to be adding a little bit of blue at a time to create this lovely lavender shade. Starting from the center of my flower, going to flick outwards into each petal. 
Now we're going to create a slightly darker purple with some more red and blue paint to be the shadow color for this flower. Again, starting from that center point and flicking up and out into each petal. Then for my rose, I'm going to be giving it a nice red base. From there, taking some white paint to draw these little loops coming from side to side to create a lovely rose texture. Now if you want any dots in the center of each flower, you can actually take the back handle of your brush, dip it in some white paint and just poke a whole bunch in the middle of your flower, gives it a nice texture. Next after our flowers are done, I'm going to be mixing up some white and yellow paint to create the shade for all of my bees. I'm going to be just be making these like oval shapes, maybe three or four of them, however many bees you want on your mason jar. Now each bee is going to be getting two wings, so I'm going to grab some white paint and at the tip of each wing I'm going to press harder and as I pull towards the center of the bee's body I'm going to alleviate the pressure so it's a little bit thinner where it touches the body. Next we're going to be grabbing some black paint to outline the outside of each wing. Next step is adding all those cute little stripes in our bees. Black paint drawing not particularly straight lines, but ones that kind of curve under, almost like a little smiley face. And then at the top of the head, we're going to fill that section in to make it darker at the top. Now that is the last and final step to creating your very beautiful springtime mason jars. We would love to see how they turned out at home. Feel free to post on social media and tag us at news underscore paint bar so we can check them out. If you're looking to make these dishwashers safe, you can throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to see more tutorials from our page, make sure you like and subscribe. And with that, don't forget to always paint outside the lines.